I have good news for you, everyone. This episode will be filled with kittens, as will the next one, as will the next one. Little kittens in the background being adorable. All right. Here you go. Got some vintage, and you picked up some new tokens while you were out at the GP. I see, and these are all RK posts. There's one that just says blue, one says black, one says colorless. Presumably for storm and shenanigans like that. That does, after all, matter in what we're playing right now, which is some good old vintage paradoxical outcome versus Jay's brew number 876. Brewing and vintage. That is. I'm trying to make it a thing. I don't know if it is actually, but I'm trying to make it a thing. All right, so before we do, before we see our cards, I guess we ought to figure out, did you just, dog, did you just move my tripod? Conrad. <laughs> You're a jerk. You're a jerk, dude. He gives <laughs> zero fucks. You're a jerk. Let me make sure we're set. I, I think we're still good. You know what, close enough. That's fine. You, you, you jerk. <laughs> and I run my knee into the chair. We're off to a great start. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. Cool. I would like to be on the play. Uh -huh. Now, before we look, cheers. All right. What? Yeah, there <laughs> we go. There we go. We made it. We, get, we got there. It is awfully dry, and if you're not a fan of dry, just let me know. Oof. Yeah, not you know what dry means, right? In this context, it means they d didn't add a lot of sugar to it, oh. or didn't add sugar. I don't know if it's they didn't add sugar or didn't add a lot, mm. or if that. You stop doing that, dude. <laughs> you jerk, Dogo, get out of here, Conrad. Dick. All I all I did is I moved my chair to sort of nudge him. Of course, in doing so, I realized I might be nudging him into the other side of the tripod. <laughs> that would be just my luck. Just my luck. All right. So I, I will keep. I will keep as well. All right. Let's uh, begin. Misty Rainforest, past turn. Right. So where do the kittens go? Okay. See. Yep. So cool. Okay. With Metalcraft Online. Here's the turn. Make sure so I don't have a mat, so I'm not going to be entirely sure if I'm on camera. Mm. We'll maybe find another mat in just a sec or something. I'll find something. They are calling to me. They are singing the song of my people. Right. Thoughtcast. Results. <laughs> you! You jerk! You're just gonna tease me the whole time, aren't you? No, you we can't come up the and door lick me. earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did not do something good. You stop that. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, deck pen. Yep. Top card? No. So many animals, dude. All right, here's my uh, island for 13-year-olds. I am actually going to, because I don't have a mat and I can't actively see the, the little screen up there, I am probably gonna play lands in front so I have a better point of reference for where everything is. Because I have lands. I don't know how long it's gonna be before I have non-lands. All right, cool. So, draw. I would like to cast a Sapphire Medallion, which makes my blue spells cost one less to play. Okay. Results? Yep. Yeah. Now I'll pass turn. This is kind of like mana. We're gonna pretend it goes here. Hmm. 
Feel it coming. Monolith. Oh, oh. I was wrong. Okay. Uh, Whoa. Results. Uh, I'm hoping it's my extra turn. Yep. Okay, it's just cycling. That's always the, the hope. Tundra, okay, so balance is up. Recall. Resolves. Target myself. Nah. White is usually going to be colorless. Yeah, it's going to come as colorless. I mean, unless we cast um, balance. Resolve. It resolves. Okay. All right. got four. Draw your four. One, deux, trois, quatre. Step was... Yeah, that was one storm. Mm -hmm. You played a land prior, but not a yeah. spell. Making sure that, um, go. Okay. Alright, here we go. Mm -hmm. Um, make a blue. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, obviously we have no. more. There's that one. Yep. Yeah. Just trying to find it. <laughs> um, yeah. It's all good. I'm just messing with you. Uh, two. It might as well be dark steel ingot. <laughs> Strictly sillier than dark steel ingot. Can you, G Conrad? Right, let me check the yeah. camera again, real quick. So we have sure give me it's a okay. animal warning beforehand. Yeah. Quite the setup here. Uh, camera can't uh, see. There's no leg space, so I, I am invariably going uh, to keep banging my knees. That white one, the other one, monolith. Yes. Conrad. It's. I mean, I appreciate you liking me, bud. I do. I really do. Uh, I see those ears. He's cute, I'll give him that. Down a colorless? Yeah. Down two colorless, I presume? I don't know if we're there just yet. Oh, okay. 
roll you to eight or to nine oh, yeah. storm. Because, you know, brain freeze is a win con. Alright. Oh, poor little guy. Uh, what? Yes. Computer? Results? What do you want to put on top? Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to tell me. I asked you a question, you don't have to answer that one. <laughs> this, is, this is a black tutor. Ay, ay, ay. I can't think off the top of my head if they have any unconditional tutors that you still have to reveal. So it does. you have to reveal, say, if it says, get a blue instant, because mm -hmm. you have to confirm that it is that. I can't think of if there's anything that doesn't have a qualification, but you still have to reveal. I'd be curious to see what people say in uh, the comment section, if there is something like that. Or maybe after this goes up, I'll see it on Gatherer, do a quick little search, see if I can find something. If it exists. Blop. There we go. You're good. Hey. Yep, yep. There we go. Do you know? Mm hmm. I will. Okay. Yep, there we go. Alright, <laughs> fair enough. <sighs> I told you, I'll tell the camera, I have a cheat code to try to fix uh, the problem we're having with Conrad the dog, Conrad the barbarian. And that is just simply putting my foot where it's been putting its butt. See if that, maybe that it'll just, he'll sit on it, or maybe he not. Might. Yeah. Well, it's easy enough to pull it back and not be sad upon it. That is a big dog, though. <laughs> he is a fat ass. He's only two. <laughs> well, yeah. Alright, so I'll be on the play, of course. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. Uh, carrier settings update? Not right now. Thank you, though. Alright, so while he's doing that, let me flip this around and show you the shenanigans we have here. So this isn't great, especially when you're on the play, but, you know, when you have... Oh! <laughs> they didn't get to see what this deck does. This is nice, and if <laughs> worse comes to worse, you... This is for much later on. This is, uh, hopefully what we get to play soon. And then little insurance. Little insurance never hurt anyone, I suppose. Hey. All right. So I am good when you are, my friend. Let's see what six and a half grants you. What's up? I need more new sleeves. Oh yeah. Now with Star City Games, are those same sleeves still available, or do they rotate? Like you, once they're I out. I think they have. have. I don't know really. I didn't check when I was at the GP. Hmm. Those two focus on just half I understood. So, for example, if they made Delver of Squeakrits, if they still make Delver of Squeakrits now. I don't want to. Do you have to? You can't? Alright, I'm going to bite myself here. Let's do six and a half again. I know it's going to end up hurting me, invariably, because that's how this works, <laughs> but, you know, better, better that we have an actual game rather than one person just can't play. <laughs> if it happens again, then we'll go to five and a half, but hopefully we won't have to get there. Half your hand is land. Oh, in that there aren't that many lanes in that deck, my friend. I don't know how that happens, but it happens. All right, I am just the master cutter. So that said, I just jinxed it. So here you go. Here's your triple force of will. <laughs> well, off six. I don't. I don't know how good that would be actually. Two for one in yourself on a starting hand of six. Ew. I'm on the draw. Mm-hmm. I can't even keep this hand. Is it better than five and a half, 
though. You're on the draw, and you have a survive. No mana source. Yeah, no. Then. <laughs> All right, we'll see what five gets you. Wow, man. This is a thing, I guess. Are you not a fan of that? Just not. I've sipped on him. I'm not a huge wine drinker. Oh, okay. Yeah. It wasn't. I know some people. I like mine very dry. I I know that's a minority opinion. So, if that happened to be the case. Uh, do I? Yeah, no, no, we cut that out. We cut that out. We, we cut that out. Can you not, my friend? Can you not? <laughs> the expression on his face. He cannot not. I can't even. Alright. See what five gets you? Alright. Hey there, buddy. Just step on your foot. Why don't you? No, it's hard for me to. Ooh. I'll keep this. Alright. Let's go into a preordain. Uh, I'm not done yet, obviously. I mean... I want it all. Pastor? And I want it now. Trump. Yep. Mox. Sapphire's good. Uh, go ahead. Jace VP. And, um, Pastor? Alright. I'm gonna flip the screen around real quick. Alright. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. Go ahead. Alright. Draw a discard? Mm -hmm. Force of Will? Mm -hmm. Sapphire Medallion? Okay. Again? Last turn. Uh, is that your recall? Force, pitch, capture of Jingzo. Uh, response, brainstorm. In response. Brainstorm. Okay. So I'll resolve mine first. Right. Now you can resolve yours. Three cards left? Yes. Alright, resolves. Yeah, here's, here's Mulligan? What mulligan? <laughs> <laughs> and yes, this is a black border capture of Jing Zhou. I don't actually think there is a paper black border capture of Jing Zhou. Uh, people can't see. This is the Master's Edition of the card. 
because this is vintage and who needs real versions of the cards? And also, again, I think only the MTGO one, Masters Edition one, was black bordered. Um, we were on my turn, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. That was on your turn. Tundra? Yes. Medicare. Okay. Results. Uh, Ruby. Oh. oh, okay. Go ahead. Let's uh, put something on your deck so we don't miss oh, the yeah, Nanocrypt yeah. trigger again. We do. Yeah. Ruby, don't do 100 times. We, we do that, unfortunately. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Force Pitch Paradox. Alright. Results? No more pitch yet. Alright. Chase Friend's Prodigy. Draw a discard. Yep. Transform? Mm -hmm. You don't exist anymore, dude. <laughs> You're over here in the shadow realm. Um, you're at. Five. Do you have a die that I can borrow really quickly? Especially if it happens to be a d6, just so they can show a touch more easily. Uh, five to start. I will. Minus three, go to two. I will flash back free or damn. Bottom both, and then draw a card. Which should be kind of reassuring to you, I suppose. And then I'll pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Ah, you're safe. We have a convention, I say this at the, at, during every video, just in case this is the first vintage video of ours people watch. Whenever he rolls an even, that means he passes. If he rolls odd, he takes three. Top resolves. Uh, let's okay. float an extra one and spin the top. Draw. Okay. Ooh. Whatever that is then. Paradox <coughs> will <Huxley> outcome. <coughs> Blue one. Scroll. Oh, scrolling. Results. Now we get the outcome. We've already cast Recall. Mm -hmm. Now to make sure, we cast Top, Spun the Top, Floating One, Spent One and Mox Opal for uh, Merchant Scroll, so you are clean on mana. No floating mana now. Right. Alright. Yeah, just making sure. Because unless you have a land you haven't shown me yet, I think you're one mana shy. 
from casting that this turn. There's always tomorrow. It's only a turn away. It's only a turn away. Okay. Thirst. Academy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Four. Never mind. You did have a land. <laughs> uh, how come? Resolves? Uh, use. Can you use one? Blue one, one, two, three, four. Uh, up to three. Alright. I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Picking up four. Do 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 do. I didn't see. I'm not even sure it turned over. Alright, All right. Ruby, Crypt, Lamp Oil, Rope, Bombs. Alright. I've seen this band before. Sorry about the popping knuckles if you're not a big fan of that. That's on me. That is on me. Blue. Three more. Mm hmm. Outcome again. Tezzer. Uh, Tezzer, it's five. Did I miss one? I still had some left over. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Because I'm at four blue and three colorless. Tezzer, it resolves. So that's two blue, one colorless. Um, get a better die. Plus Tezzer to five. Okay, untapping some artifacts, that's fair. Untap. Not going for the time vault now. Untap. Mm-hmm. Used to brain freeze at nine. Brain freeze at nine? Targeting me? Yes. Okay. Alright, so brain freeze is three for every instance. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventy, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Now, feel <laughs> <laughs> Jay Scalding, Time Warp, Black Lotus, Mox Emerald. Let me just do a deck tech for you real quick. <laughs> do, 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 do. How high can I go? And if you need to look, go for it, otherwise, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Needless to say, I think future Jace Friends prodigies will flip. God bless it. <laughs> <laughs> and I know technically that's not the right order. I don't care. Bang, go ahead. Okay. No, I think with them all entering at the same time, it doesn't matter the order at that point. Yeah. We're gonna plus Jace Telepath Unbound because that's what you have to do. Um, you have how many cards in hand? Two. Two. Okay. Two cards in hand. A 
Tezzeret on the board. Five makes artifacts you could... So this is basically the turn. This is the turn. Now or never. Well, okay. Time to get started. Temporal manipulation. Give me another turn. Sure. Alright, go to my next turn. Yep. Go to four. Temporal manipulation. Give me another turn. Mm. Go to five. Capture of Jingzo. Give me another turn. Tell me if you see a theme here. Alright. This is plus. Go up to six. I'm coming in. His plus, whatever. Oh, uh, his plus is up to one target creature gets minus two, minus oh to the next oh, okay. turn. So absolutely jack all. Uh, <laughs> not a whole lot. I'm gonna uh, fetch first. Mm -hmm. Get out what I think is my fail to find. Wow! <laughs> wow! It's okay, there's no blood moon or any sort of effect like that to make that ever tap for mana anyway. Yeah. Um, and I was going to die regardless for artifacts. They all become five fives, four times five is twenty. I was going to die anyway. Mm. So, cut if you're right. Good. Okay. <laughs> Capture of Jinxo. Mm. Give me another turn. All right, go to my next turn. Okay. So, how do we want to do this? How can we do this? If I have no more lands in the deck, that actually changes things kind of considerably. Because it means that there's a certain line I actually do not have. Barring some miracle. The mind here. Um, okay then. I think you might actually have me just on that, believe it or not. Let me look through my graveyard here real quick. Oh! Oh, oh, please be in here. Please be in here. Why are you not in here? Well, that's a bit of a problem. I'm looking for Time Walk. Mm. Seeing if I can find Time Walk in here. I saw Warps. Mm. Yeah, Warps definitely. No I Time Walk. Like three Warps. Yeah. Well, that's a little bit awkward, so... I can do this a number of ways then, but unfortunately I think the best way, the only real line, is to minus three here, mm -hmm. and we're going to flashback capture of Jingzhou. Jingzhou. Mm -hmm. Alright, take my extra turn. Yep. Pearl. Alright. Sapphire Medallion. Mm -hmm. Kill the Jace. Uh, to give flashback to um, Capture of Jingzhou. Mm -hmm. Get my extra turn. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna start off. Time Walk. I'll have another turn after this. Um, the only way I can see myself winning the game from here is by ulting with Jace. How many cards do you have in hand? Two? Two. Alright, your hand becomes your library, which still actually means I would not win. I would need to ult with Jace twice here. Um, although that's actually not true. So we're going to brainstorm with Jace. Mm -hmm. Two of them back. Cast Jace Bryn's Prodigy. Go to my next turn, because Time Walk was cast pr uh, prior. Yep. All right. You Red. jerk! I am in the middle of a combo turns. Move. <laughs> Move. Of a combo turns. There we go. That's how this works. <laughs> it just lets you slide him along the ground, man. All right. Obviously, I haven't drawn a card yet. Also, Jace is going to be at three for a while. Spoiler alert. 
Um, Jay, uh, we're gonna make Rin's Prodigy do his thing first. Draw a discard. Hey, that was quick. That was real quick. Uh, you're gonna be... Can I have another... Uh, actually, Jace is gonna stay at three, so... <laughs> barring some shenanigans, Jace is gonna stay at three. So, before I do this, let me look at my yard. Because I think it's supposed to be easy. Okay, one Snapcaster Mage. How many snap? Two Snapcaster Mages. Three Snapcaster... Okay, so there's one more in the deck. I don't have far to go, but I have to hit it at some point, because I need to, at the very least, hit Tezzeret once to not die. So, got to find that Snapcaster. Find that Snapcaster. Uh, you're starting at five. We're going to tick you down to two, and we're going to make it... Let's see. What am I going to cast here? What am I going to cast here? Because I know what this is, and what it do is, is card that doesn't get me Snapcaster Mage. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, you know what, actually, before we do that, before we drop here, let's uh, do some mind sculpting real quick. Alright. <laughs> I hate all of you right now. <laughs> I hate every one of you cards right now. But you know what? You are definitely going. And you don't mean anything to me. You are dead to me, Lisa. All right, so we're going to put you two back in F all knows what order. Then we're going to cast Preordain. Scry those two to the bottom. <laughs> Actually, let me check the order, because that might matter. Okay. There we go. Because that, watch it come up, draw a card. Why is Snapcaster Mage not here? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, preordain in the yard. I get one more shot at this. Get one more shot at this. We're going to spin one. Let's ponder. All right. How many cards? Hey there. Hey there, buddy. Spoiler alert. You already know. Oh, that's actually a really bad card right now. You don't want ancestral recall when you have five cards in your graveyard. I knew I should have put Time Twister in here. I knew I should have put Time Twister in here somewhere. Time Twister would be great right about now <laughs> to not draw myself out. Okay, so now that we found Snapcaster, um, uh, exile all cards from that player's graveyard, then that player shuffles their hand into their library. Um, I guess I could use that to target myself to give myself a few more turns to win with Snapcaster Beatdown. So... No, that's not... that's... Oh man, I'm in a... I'm in a spot right now. I am in quite the spot. So, Snapcaster Mage. Uh, coming down. Mm -hmm. Targeting Time Walk. We're gonna flashback time walk off the one blue mana that's left. <laughs> All right, so finally we have some shenanigans going on here. That being the case, Jay's Telepath Unbound is going to tick up to six. Okay. Can I do it? Can I do it? No. Um, maybe, maybe. Oh my goodness, maybe. We're gonna do some silliness here. We're gonna do some silliness. I would like to go to my next turn. Mm -hmm. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to draw. Okay. <sighs> okay, four cards left. I'm just gonna tear them like this. I, I actually know the order of every card in my library now, all four of them. So, no, I don't. I, I don't know this one. Second from the top. I don't know that one. Um, you can see my hand. I, I'll show you. You're not getting a turn the rest of the game unless you're winning the game. Spoiler alert. Um, so, that's, that's not a problem here. There's no way I can deal nine Snapcaster hits to you, can I? No. Um, 
Is there any way I can put cards back into my deck from here? I don't think there is. No, no there's not. I, I think you got me here. I think you got me with that brain freeze. The, the <laughs> most devastating brain freeze ima ever imagined. But we're going to pretend there's a way. So I'm going to plus Jace, Telepath and Bound up to seven. And we are going to... What's his emblem? When you cast a spell, mill f you mill five. Um... We're going for it, I guess. Ah... Uh, Jeez. Snapcaster hit you in the face. Mm -hmm. Alright. Take you down two. Jace... How are we doing this? How are we doing this, buddy? How are we doing this? <laughs> no matter how many times I say it, that's not going to fix things. Um, I'm just going to brain freeze it, or um, brainstorm again. <laughs> yeah, the brainstorm here is, it, it's looking, I know why I had to do it. I needed to make sure I didn't drop, I, if I gave you a turn, you would just win. But now it hurts. It hurts so much. So, Jace the Mind Sculptor plus. Go to five. Now I need to die for Jace. Now I need to die. I have messed this up, but in my defense, this is the first match I've played with the deck. So, we are going to. Let's see. Do we even need to bounce the Snapcaster here? We could just to not cast a spell from my hand. Which might actually be... No, we can't, because we just did with Jay. So we're just going to Temporal Trespass here. Mm -hmm. you know, three, take an extra turn. Draw this card. Okay, cool. Um, hit you for two. Seven. Eight. Take an extra turn. Mm -hmm. Next turn. Hmm. Alright. Jace is going up to nine. Jace is also going up to nine. Don't you love this Planeswalker uniqueness roll? Don't you just love the new Planeswalker uniqueness rule? Swing at Tezzeret for two. It is your turn. So at least you can't kill me with Tezzy's ult now. Spoiler alert, hand is stacked. Balance? Balance resolves. How many lands do you have? Three. Three. So all I need to sack one. And how many cards do you have? Two? Two. Okay, so we're fine on that. I guess float one just in case. Mm. Snapcaster was not the plan here. He's at three. Right. Three. Oh, okay. We're doing the mana crypt. Yeah. Yeah, so you take two, damage. or take three. Put you to eleven. Combo turn. Combo turn. Take key. I'm guessing. And then the other card is Time Ball. He hasn't smiled yet, so maybe not. Gotta hope. Gotta hope. <clears throat> there is a top. Okay. 
That's fair in this spot. Alright, my friend. Presumably cast top or cast top and look. Cast top and then look. Okay, cool. Yu-Gi-Oh player with a back row here. <laughs> I set two trap cards. I mean, speller trap cards. <laughs> Fetch. All right. Fair enough. All right. And then spin the one to take a look in just a second. I, I assume. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Well, there's an outcome in there somewhere. And a Snapcaster Mage, maybe. I don't think we've seen that yet. The non-lethal brain freeze may actually have been lethal. How cool is that? Okay. Another Tezzeret. Yeah. Okay. These are two. Yeah, you've already used that one. Makes four. Uno más, señor. Yeah. Yeah, I think we want to do the sapphire here. Yeah. Because one, it only makes one color, and two, if you bounce it with outcome, you get it back. Sort of. Alright. Hi, Tezzeret. Tezzeret. How do we want it? How do you want to win? I'm going to go green. What am I getting this time around? Alright. Alright, so going three. Top, key, soaring, mana vault. I have a feeling you're not looking for more mana, though. I have a sneaking suspicion. Honestly, now that you've shuffled your library, even a top? Yeah, yeah, a top is fine. Just the fact that you've shuffled is, is good here. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Spin the top now. Okay. We're going for it if we're doing it now. Turn, pop the Jace. Mm -hmm. uh, you're in the yard now. Uh, so every time I cast a spell, you, you know what that is. Um, I'm gonna roll Jace up to 11 out of a po out of a possible. Um, cool. So I mill when you cast. Yes. I'm gonna cast. Mm. Before you cast top. Okay, top. Might as well. Um, mystical tutor. Mm -hmm. So it's fail five. to find. Yeah. So you'll mill five. One, two. That is not how that works, Jay. He has blue, blue in the cost. Jace the mind sculptor. Mill ten. I'm gonna actually keep the old Jace. Ten. Or milk. It, it'll be ten for the turn, so five more. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then I will pass the turn to you. I think I just lost. Oh, there's time vault. There's yeah. time vault. 
No, the kill is on board, you just don't see it yet. I didn't say it's killing you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. Because I can see exactly what's about to happen here. Do you want me to just save you some time, or do you want to play out your turn? Because I, I can tell you exactly how the next turn is going to play out if I get another turn. Alright, so Jace is at 11 right now. Jace can roll, can't roll, can ult yet, so Jace needs to roll up to 13 next turn. But in order to do that, I have to draw a card. Then on the next turn, I could pop the Jace and Ancestral Recall targeting you. Yeah. Because, you know, you wouldn't have enough cards in your deck. You would draw yourself out. But I need one more card to do that. And I don't have a Time Twister. I actually considered when building this deck, can I find a slot for Time Twister? And I chose the fourth Preordain over Time Twister. Snapcaster Mage Time Twister would have saved me this game. And I did not do it. So that is entirely my fault. Yeah. Um, but in my defense, first time playing the deck, I did not know that was a situation that could come up. But Brain Freeze is a card. <laughs> Can we play another one just for funsies? Yeah. Just for just for funsies. This is a this is quite the skill intensive match. I am I am a fan of vintage now. In case that weren't clear, um, it doesn't have the diversity of Legacy's metagame, but holy crap, is it a skill intensive format? Steve and Indian, be proud of us, please. So I was debating whether I wanted to count this as one of our drunk magic videos on the channel. This is not drunk magic. No. If you've seen my first drunk magic video, it was actually the third on the channel. Um, it was me and my ex back when we were real good together, and holy crap, she was so drunk. Uh, looking at me, yeah, I was loud. She is falling back into the Christmas tree and cannot get herself up, and he's talking like dead. Oh. But well, we've got the rest of that, and there's only been two bottles pulled out of the box. That's... Oh, wait, these are alcoholic? Yes. I did not realize that. Okay. Hmm. Pretty I might at some mine. point try one of those, but... They're pretty good. No. Let me finish this first, if that's alright. Yeah. It has been, prior to tonight, since I've had even a drop of alcohol, it's been... Yeah, about six... It's, no, it's mid-November, it's been about six months. This past weekend. Oh, this is past weekend. <laughs> I just, now that thankfully I finally have just a little bit of, actually these aren't even, this isn't even a recent purchase, but now that I have a little bit of money, it's, uh, it's definitely a want, not a need, I think is a good way of putting it. Yeah. And so now, oh, by the way, um, yeah, I'll play if that's okay. Oh, this is, this is sexy. I will keep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. No. <laughs> Emerald and Lotus. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're breaking my heart. Yeah. So I have this bad habit. I say bad habit. It makes sense why I do it. Which is that when I see a legendary, or a planeswalker for that matter, although less so now that there's a new planeswalker uniqueness rule, I have a tendency to want to include only one. Because there's not an opportunity cost if you run one. There's a little bit of an opportunity cost if you run two, in case you have both in the hand at the same time. Th more if we're three, more with four. So you saw earlier, I have a Baral Chief of Compliance, which is better than Sapphire Medallion. Except that it's legendary. The fact that it's a creature, the fact that it loots for me, is better. Except it's legendary, and as a result I'm only running one, even though I know six and a half, even though I know I should probably, your hand was actually on the bottom, run more than one. It's such a good card. If I force a will, I can loot. And that's worth quite a lot. Also, now that I think about it, the fact that I kept giving you more mulligans did, in fact, bite me! I, I think it's better for the camera, though. If I'll we have, play this. Okay. If we have more cards in hand. Just as a general rule, it's, it makes the games more exciting. So YouTube, if you're looking for the win record for this deck, 
Bear that in mind. Mon nice. Vintage taking turns did did have that. All right, so you're set. Yeah. We will start with a. Mox after I preordain? Mm hmm. I am gonna do this again. I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry. No, I'm, uh, I mean, kind of. I kind of am. I can certainly appreciate uh, one top, one bottom, and I'll draw this card. Why people are like that. Why some people, understandably, I think, I like that. Uh, Mox Ruby. Ruby? Every time I say the Mox Ruby, I think of that scene from, um, Pastor. I think of that scene from, um, that Zelda CDI game. I can't remember which one it was. Um, oh, uh, this looks familiar. Hi, Sapphire. I think it was not Wand of Gamelon, because that's the Zelda one. Oh god, here we go. Okay, so Metalcraft is on. Faces of Evil. Blue, blue, two. Paradoxical already? Already? What is this, vintage? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, how many cards do you have in hand? Three? Three? And it's about to be six? About to be, well, if it resolves nine. Oh yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I'm not even counting these. They're just gonna come right back. Results. A four mana ancestor recall. And we get a land, presumably. As I think we are likely to have a land in there somewhere. Na known as Clarion Academy, knowing my luck. Okay. Yeah. Try to use the sapphire first if you can, just in case balance or tutor comes out. Because even though it's mostly a mono blue deck, YouTube, he only has two cards in the main deck. Ke oh god, not already. Show me time vault. <laughs> what? The <laughs> Staff cast a flashback preordained. <laughs> So that's a thing. I, I want to make this deck actually do something. I want to make it go off and not lose. You know what? There's a moral victory on that second one. Because I would have won if I didn't give him an extra mulligan. If he had to keep that no land, no mana source hand. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You got this. You got this, my friend. Man. We've been having a very different experience.